Hey everybody, this is GeeseQuest16, welcome back to more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Today we're going to World, world 4 Bubble Group Swamp. Go ahead and do that now. Now, I'm going to um, do something here. And keep your eyes open for your new move, big face. I'm going to learn this move right here, and then I'm going to exit. These are the waiting boots. Chicken legs wears them so you can safely wade through dangerous areas like the swamp for a limited time. Okay, chicken, or Kazooie, <laughs> let's go grab a pair. That is funny. So, I want to exit this world here. Because I need the waiting boots and I need to do something. So, go ahead and exit. Got these stupid buzz bombs that we've seen in the intro that got squashed. And don't um, fall in the swamp. That will be. That will be. Ah! Butthole. So, yeah. Go over here. In this tunnel over here. Opposite where Brantilda is. Grab these pair of boots. Go for that little opening over there. And you'll find the puzzle to the next world, but we won't open that just yet. Go up here. You see this big ice block here? Well, go on top of it and do a beak buster. And you can't go through there. Banjo can't go through there unless he's like a smaller animal. So yeah, we we'll have to get Momo's transformation animal and Bubble Boot Swamp to go through there. So yeah, we'll go through there later once we get the world done. But that would be like a couple of videos. Crapping about all the time here. Ooh, made it! Without getting bitten by those like, piranhas in that swamp. So now let's start Bubble Gloop Swamp, which is in a swamp, which should take place in a swampy late wasteland, I guess. So see this crocodile here? Shoot an egg and give him to him. Yummy practice like that. So yeah, he'll move to a different area, a different color. Well, actually, I think those are different crocodiles. Crocodile buddies, I guess. Go through here. Get that yellow ginger. Basically, almost like the one in uh, Mumbo's Mountain. Basically, for that ginger. Yeah, get over here. Get over here. There we go. Who wants up this pole here? Oh, it's eggs. No. <coughs> Excuse me, I only needed one egg. So let's go across here, hit this green jiggy switch, and of course we get a jiggy. How convenient. <laughs> but the thing is, we only got 45 seconds to get there before it disappears, so carefully make your way over to the jiggy. Now if you screw up once, it's, you have to pretty much do it again, so let's be careful. Watch it go through here. We get the area. We get the items we miss whenever we come through here. Okay, go through here. And there we go. Jiggy, Jiggy got. There we go. Not that. It's not that hard of a Jiggy, unless you like slower. Unless you use banjo, but you can you can use banjo, but I would use Kazooie. Just talent truck to get there because it'll be a little bit faster. Saves you time. Anyways, there was a Jinjo back there. Go through here. Whoa. Go up here, get a Mumbo token. And there's another one of these crocodile dudes. Croctus. Okay, sure they have this lock them. Here up here up there, which we'll be heading next. But first, what was I gonna say? I kinda forgot about that right now. Okay, let's go over, let's go this way first. 
Cause we got, cause there's a jiggy over here. Cut that frog is gonna kill us right there. Come on! Get over here! Get over here, you dumb frog! You know what? Screw you then. Screw you. Well, wait a minute, I need the waiting boots. Hang on. You stupid frog! There! Finally kill that, that stupid frog. Jeez! Anyways, go over here, go behind this giant Easter egg, this egg here, we can find some notes. Oh my god, that was annoying with that stupid frog. Okay, go up this egg, get extra life, and then beat buster it. This one with the X, gotta tap it. Go on the top of this egg, you beat buster it, and you do the big key barge, and then the beat buster again. There you go, GD yours. Where's that leaf at? Here it comes. Why this leaf bad? Because there are no waiting boots over here. Okay, go up this pole here to get a Momo token, basically. Now, let's make it without the fraud coming back. I don't think the enemies do come back after you kill them. I'm thinking Banjo Tooie, whenever you kill an enemy, they come back. Uh oh. Ugh, an ugly, hairy trash passer. He's after our gold, but he'll never be a saw. So yeah, you got these gold frogs instead of the red frogs. I like the red frogs. These things take a couple more hit, couple more hits than the, than the red frog. frog. Now, okay. I don't know how many of these are there at exactly. Quick! So the frogs in this world are so annoying. There we go. And that frog, you're too tough for us, Flibbits. Take our gold. <laughs> of course, the gold he's referring to is a jiggy, basically. Of course. I got about a couple minutes left. Let's go up here and do this real quick before I run out of time here. Okay. Remember these huts in Mumbo's Mountain? Do the same thing, but instead of prizes, you get shock jump springs, which you will be need to get up these platforms, I guess. Okay. This one has a grunchy switch and some notes. So, let's mash the switch here, and... Boom! Makes the top of our hat explode so we get that cheeky and that's in that grunchy statue. Okay. Go over here. Miss the Momo token. Okay, feed this crocus dude. He'll go over there. Okay. Let's try to get that Momo token again. There we go, got the Jiggy, but not stupidly far under there. In about 30 seconds. I'll go over to this area, to the crocodile area here, then I think I'll stop the video. Woohoo! Eh, crap. Okay, we're good. Hey, he's always been up to a lucky start. See, I want to stop the video here, so... Join me next time, or I will continue on with Bubble Boots so I'll get some more jiggies and stuff. So, so then this is GeeseQuest16 signing off here. See you guys later.